Are you prepared for more hacks? Up oh, what nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Nanatsu no Taze chapter 328. So oh, I'm just gonna say this before going into this chapter. There's there's a few things bothering me here. First of all, if Escanor is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Demon King, why the fuck is it? <laughs> I'll just come down here and go toe to toe with the Demon King. I'm so confused by this. And, you know, at some point you have to wonder like, can we just get a fusion of Mael and Escanor? Because apparently there is a gateway. And Mael can just totally fuse himself with Escanor. That's what I'm getting. From, you know, from what we've seen in the manga recently, based on Nakaba's logic. And also, I have to tell you this right now, from the previous chapter we got last week. Nakaba, that was a shitty backstory! I was not happy with this! I thought we were gonna get a full-on backstory on what the curse Escanor was born with, how he tore down his, um, his village, and all that shit! Why did we not get that? <laughs> I'm really goddamn mad about that. Um, but the other thing that I want to see besides a full-blown fusion of Escanor and Mael is Escanor got to die soon, let's be real. And I want to see Supreme Deity. Like, if it's Supreme Deity fused with Elizabeth, that would be pretty goddamn sweet. Please just make it happen, Nakaba. You are killing me, Smalls. Anyway... Let's get to this chapter and see if I'm going to be disappointed again this week. Ugh, the Anime 7 Deadly Sins Wrath of Gods begins airing this week. You know what? I've been disappointed by anime adaptations once again with the Rumikun. Don't watch that anime adaptation. It is bad. It is bad. I had to drop it within five minutes because they fucked up the lore. Oh my god, I was so mad that they fucked up the lore. Oh my god. It is bad. The, the art and animation is great. The voice acting is great. The opening song and everything is great. But the, they fucked up the lore. When you fuck up the lore like that, it's an insta drop for me. So, ugh. So mad about that. Anyway... Um, here we go. Even after a minute has passed, uh, the one is still in full force. Pride's ultimate power has been activated now. The sun will never set. Oh, God, I just want a fusion of Escanor of L. Is that too much to ask? And chapter 328 is titled The One's Ultimate. What is going on with Escanor? Why is he still in his, uh, the one form even after a minute has passed? My arm's stuck. The one ultimate. Dude, even his, like, dude, Escanor looks like a Super Saiyan. I'm sorry. He <laughs> fucking does. That's not the power of sunshine. What? What? Escanor's converting his own life force into magic power? Okay. I will accept this. I will take this, Nakaba. I'm going to read this again. I will take this. Escanor is converting his own life force into magic power. I still don't think he should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Demon King. But if Escanor is converting his own life force into magic power, okay. He, he did it. Yes! He intends to completely burn out his own life. I will take this, Nakaba. I will take this. I will take this. Oh, jeez, I will take this. Escanor, no! He can't do that! He'll, he'll die! Well, no fucking shit! He is going to die! Thank you! I will take the- You know what? I still don't think he should be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Demon King. I still would have liked an Escanor Mael fusion and still, like, have it, like, where it's still, like, the consequence of Mael fusing with Escanor being that it still burns up his life force. I would be totally down with that. But, you know what? This works for me, too! Um, he can't do that. He'll die. We, we gotta hurry and stop him. Wah! No, this ain't enough. This is not gonna kill the Demon King. Fuck no, this ain't gonna kill the Demon King. Because we need Supreme Deity! I swear to God, if Supreme Deity do not show up, if she do not fuse with Elizabeth, I swear to fucking God, Nakaba, I swear to God. Enough of this farce! Be gone! Counter vanish! Woo! Vanishing kill! Fight fire with fire! No! Get the fuck out of here, 
fire pond. Fight fire with fire. What? What is the meaning of this? I thought I told you I was in no need of your help. Thank you, Escanor. Get the fuck out of here. No. Let Escanor do his shit. Let Escanor die, goddammit. I should ask you the same. Just what are you trying to pull here, you stupid bastard? No. Meliodas. No. Don't ruin the chapter. Out of the way. If you want me to move them, move me by force if you can. I didn't invite you to join the seven deadly sins just to let you go and pull something like this. But Meliodas Escanor was going to die anyway, you stupid fuck! He was going to die anyway! Do you remember back then, back when I still had no concept of how to control my own power was just and was just berserking wildly? You beat me into submission time after time after time after time to the point I was at a uh, complete loss for words. As impudent as it was, you put that tiny little body of yours on the line and showed me how to begin controlling and mastering my power, which we saw last chapter, by the way. And as audacious as it was, and not gonna I see why you gave us that last chapter, but motherfucker, I want the origin story of Escanor's power! And as audacious as it was, you, um, you gave me, who was lost in loneliness and solitude, a place to be somewhere I belonged. Do you have any idea just what kind of happiness that brought me? <gasps> All too well, Escanor. Woo! Hello! What is this? You know what? This looks like something that I've seen uh, seen before in uh, in Yuji's work in um, Hell's Paradise, Shika Karaku. Maybe a little bit something like I've seen in, seen out in Gege's work in uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. A little bit of that. Nah, I wouldn't say it looks like it's something... No, I wouldn't say it looks like something out of Katoge's work in uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba. But yeah, definitely something like Jujutsu Kaisen meets, meets a little bit of Hell's Paradise Shika Karaku. But yeah, it's... In, uh, oh, beasts of darkness, rip out their entrails, devour them all. Grr. I swore an oath to myself that day, and I've kept it ever since. Askenor, that this life which I had tr uh, once tried to abandon, I would now stake for you and, and for my friends the seven deadly sins. Oh, -ho! if you're going to put your life on the line for us, then it's only right that we put our lives on the line for you as well. Exactly. Motherfucker. Nakaba, just let Escanor die. Like, ugh, this is frustrating me. Exactly. You're not alone anymore, nor have you been for a long time. You all, let's do this. Just let Escanor die. What? Merlin, Bon, Gather, King, Diane, Captain, for thank you! Captain, forgive me! It's too late for me to back out now. So instead, I'm handing down and everyone in order. Please allow me the honor of fighting alongside you all. We're, um, we're friends until the very bitter end. Both myself and I will put everything, uh, of course. We're friends until the very bitter end, but myself and I will put everything on the line. The seven friends began their final battle together. Um, in the final battle, he will not be alone, but with his companions. Everything for the sake of our friends. The seven deadly sins head into a full force, uh, into a, into full force, uh, all out war. So next issue, we will be on break. The series resumes with chapter 329 in issue 47. So... And it's going to be continued in chapter 329. Oh, yes, we're getting Zelda versus the Demon King, but... Motherfucker. I'm, I'm, I'm really annoyed right now because we still don't have an explanation about the gate. Like, all we know... Like, we have no explanation about this gate. That, or, like, the connection between Mel and Escanor. We still have no explanation about this. Because, hold on a second, let me go back to what it says at the end of chapter 327 here. Because, I swear to God, there was something that, there was, because this is going to piss me the fuck off if I don't see, hold on. I gotta double check this. Hold on. Oh, it was about the truth, hmm. Oh, about the truth of the oath. With his oath. Okay. It was the truth about the oath. Damn it. I thought it was something about the gate. Meh. I guess I read it wrong. 
I still want to know. I feel like there's something missing. I really, really fucking do. And I really hope we're going to get the explanation of the gate between. And maybe, well, you know what? Here's what I'm thinking. Because we've gotten this pattern in Kimetsu no Yaiba in, partic in particular. Um, I'm going to give you an example. I'm sorry. I'm spoiling Kimetsu no Yaiba manga. But motherfuckers, you're, you, you've really got to read Kimetsu no Yaiba manga. Um, with the particular Akaza's death and with Upper Moon One's uh, death in particular is that we've gotten their backstories as they're dying. And I think with Escanor's backstory in particular, I think Nakuba is, um, this is what I'm hoping anyway, that we'll get the full connection uh, backstory-wise with Escanor and Mael at the very end, like as Escanor's dying. I'd like to, what I'd like to see is Mael like carry, like we'll get the full backstory of their connection and see like Mael carry Escanor's so uh, soul up to heaven or something like that. That's what I would like to see. But I swear to God, Nakaba, if you do not kill Escanor, because Escanor is dying anyway. We know he's dying anyway. I think the Sins have realized he's dying anyway. Just let the man die. My fucking God, it's driving me crazy. Just let the man die in a blaze of glory. My fucking God, I think that's what all us Escanor fans, uh, like the, I think what the majority of Escanor fans want is for Escanor to die in a blaze of glory. Like when Escanor was about to die the first time, he looked like he was going to die in a blaze of glory. It was well set up and everything. And then you just had to, like, even though he was in a small form, or his, you know, his regular human form, he looked like he was about to die in a blaze of glory. And it was set up really nicely. And then, then this shit with Mael, and then, like, you could have just had Mael carry on the torch, and it would have worked out freaking gloriously. It would have been nice. But no, you had to continue on with Escanor. Because Escanor, again, Escanor was dying anyway. He was going to die anyway. But, again, something I'm still hoping is... Even though Escanor was going to die in a blaze of glory. It looked like Escanor was going to fucking die in a blaze of glory anyway. It really, really did. But I'm hoping Escanor, how Escanor is going to go. I really hope that you motherfuckers better not ruin this. Nakaba, you better not ruin this. Let Escanor die in a blaze of glory. Just let him die in a motherfucking blaze of glory. Please. That's all I'm asking. I want him to go out in a blaze of glory. And then have Mael just like take him up. Like have like see have Mael hold Escanor's hand and then like see the full the full on backstory on the connection between Mael and Escanor because yeah we got Mael's backstory like full on backstory but we didn't really get Escanor's backstory and the connection between Mael and Escanor and that's what I want um personally and I really hope we're gonna get it at the as Escanor is dying but anyway, I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, how? Like, I actually am accepting that Escanor is converting his life force into, um, into uh, magic. But like, you gotta wonder how much life force does this motherfucker have? And also, and also, I think let me let me go back and double check something here in three twenty seven because I think. Mael kind of gave him a boost as well. And this is why I kind of want to know about the connection a little bit more. Um. Oh no, it wasn't Mael. Because people were getting confused when, uh, with it, when, uh, when it says, my friend, with this at last I can fulfill my oath. No, this was Escanor's inner monologue. So, yeah, this is not Mael at all. This is just flat out Escanor. So, yeah, this is not Mael at all. This is flat out Escanor using his life energy to just do it. And you know what? I accept that. I will accept that shit. But you, again, you have to imagine how much life energy does he have considering he is dying? I'm very curious what you guys um, think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this uh, channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Nanatsu no Tazai content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.